Mary Wydell, uh, Plymouth Township resident, uh, 12 years. My comments are related to the new criminal code ordinance that was uh, read at the last township meeting, resolution 2019-1-22-11. First, many of the items in this code already have laws against what this one covers, but there are a few proposals within it that are not supported by many citizens of Plymouth. This new law says to provide that open house parties are unlawful. Then I look for the definition of what this is within the law to find no answers except that it is two or more unrelated people gathered. Before passing this law, the term open house party needs more definition. If this is intended to be aimed at teen parties, then it should be written that way. As it is written, this law could bring the police to our homes if we are having a dinner party, a pool party, a seven-year-old birthday party, or just having a gathering of a few neighbors. Is this how we want our community to be, constantly afraid of police showing up our, at our houses when we have a party or a gathering or a few friends over? No, we don't. And to bring this on out of the blue, close to two years after the teen party in my sub is unacceptable. One question, what else has been done by the police or township to curb teen parties? New laws will have little, if any, impact on teen social behaviors. If you think this law will save lives, you're probably not right. Speaking of saving lives, it should start with the cars in my sub going up to 80 miles an hour during times when buses are picking up kids in the morning. I have yet to see a police presence in the morning since the speed study was performed in my neighborhood and recorded speeds from 45 to 80 miles per hour. Also, I'd like to comment on the breach of peace uh, wording. It says, any person who shall make or assist in making any noise will be guilty of a misdemeanor. Any noise is, is quite broad, and I think this needs a little more definition. Um, it, it can impact our ability to protest, our ability to picket, um, our ability to say what's on our minds. Um, I, I do have concerns about even having uh, the ability for, for folks within my parish, my church, to, to protest against abortion. And I know some of the board members are, are involved in my parish also. And I think it's time that, that residents are informed better on things like this and have more time to know that they are coming up instead of two board meetings and boom, two days later, it's a law and we're held to it. Okay, your time is up. Thank you. And I do find it slightly ironic that some of our, our justices are, and our, our freedoms are, are being almost taken away the day after we celebrate Martin Luther King Day. Thank you. Anyone else at this time? Uh, my name is Eileen Coleman. Um, I'm, I've been a resident of Plymouth for my whole life. I'm 55. Um, my question was also about the breach of peace. It's way too vague. It can't be applied. It could be applied for just about anything. So perhaps if one of you have, can correspond with a constitutional lawyer who would understand the proper verbiage for how that should be worded, that should never be voted for at this point. That, that could, if that got into the wrong hands, that could be dangerous against people. We live in a free country, free speech, free right to protest. We actually can cause some disturbance sometimes. That's the beauty of our country. We can, we can protest. We can, we can talk about controversial issues. You can't, you can't have that in there. And if you do, you better reword it. Thank you. Anyone else?